Welcome back. You're watching and listening to Breakfast. It's 7.29. Now, 5% of the population suffer with depression, and the NHS are trialling a new headset that is said to help relieve depression by sending electrical pulses to the brain. Yes, We've got one here. Here we go. Oh. There you go. Oh, that's how you put it on. Yes, yeah, you have it on sideways. I put it on the wall. Now that we just switch it on like that. <laughs> Do you, feel, do you feel better? I feel like something in what we're looking for in Jupiter. Yeah. Space. <laughs> space brawn. Anyway, a clinic which treats 5,000 people with anxiety, post-traumatic stress disorder and addiction hopes it will restore activity in brain cells, or we'll look for you yet, <laughs> which result in a reduction of depressive symptoms. Well, we're joined now by the founder of Flow Neuroscience, Daniel Manson, who can tell us more about the headset and how it can help. Good morning to you, Daniel. I'm wearing the headset right now. Tell us, how does it work? Yes. Feels quite funny. Well, first of all, I usually wear it a, a little bit higher and, and without the, the hair in between. Oh, but yeah, right, basically what it does is... It... Oh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's kind of wet. Is it meant yeah, to be wet? Yeah, it's wet, yes. There you oh, go. I didn't tell me that. I've got makeup on. Sorry. <laughs> Just stop moaning. Daniel, can you carry on while we get this turned on? Yeah, of course. Oh. So what it does is that it sends in a very weak current. Um, we're trying to stimulate the left side of what's called the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, or so the frontal parts of the brain. And we're doing this because if you increase the activity on the left side, it has been shown in many studies that, that you can relieve the symptoms of depression. Does that, I mean, so how does that work? Into, because the only thing I know about depression is, is, is there's often a lack of serotonin and you have these serotonin reuptake inhibitors that a, lo a lot of people take. Because you know, more serotonin sloshing around the brain means more communication and things. Does this work in a... Does this have a similar sort of way or, or not? Yeah, so, so when, you, when you take an antidepressant, you're, you're working with the chemicals of the brain and we are working with the electricity. So it's a, it's a multi-part system. Um, the problem has been with, with the antidepressants that if you flood the brain with chemicals, you get other effects, what we call side effects. And when you do it with electricity, you can be a much more focal. So therefore, you don't get the side effects. So it has a lot of advantages working with electricity instead. Mm. I'm wearing it now. It's a very gentle buzz, actually. I'm You've, sorry, it's, it's dripping. <laughs> It's a very gentle well, buzz, actually. It's not bad at all. Um, how how often would you be advised to wear it for? So it's not on uh, at the moment. Um, you have to have oh, the app in order to, to do it. Um, oh. So, so you're not stimulating at the moment. Um, I don't know what I'm feeling. Then. <laughs> Maybe it's the wetness. It's just... <laughs> so it's very gentle. So, so I mean, you can imagine, you can imagine, Daniel, people being... If they know nothing about this sort of thing, it, it looks a little bit scary. Things like electricity in the brain, we think of electric shock therapy, which, you know, is, I mean, it's still used, but, but much more rarely now. Um, are, are people going to want to embrace this, do you think? Yeah, so what we can say, we've been in the market for about two years, and uh, our primary market is the UK. Uh, we have about 10,000 patients, mostly mavericks of, of mental health, people that have been depressed for a long period of time, have tried many different things, and they find it uh, amazing, I would say. I'm biased, of course, being the founder of the company, but that you can, that you can use another type of technique than, than using the pharmaceuticals. But, of course, there is some skepticism with all new kinds of technology, and uh, this has nothing to do with any type of, of shock therapy um, was used in the hospitals. It is about 400 times stronger than what we are using. And this is a slightly tingling sensation underneath the electrodes. So no, no shocks whatsoever. What feedback have you had for people who have used it so far? It's, um, it's different feedback, I would say. Um, we see that around 40 to 50 percent get out of depression. Uh, after about six six weeks, and then it becomes um, um, a matter of severity of the depression on on how you how long you're you're stimulating for how how long time. Um, but people are people are amazed that, as I said before, that that you can try different things and it doesn't work, and then you can try this and it actually works for for a big portion of patients.
Well, I tell you what, for, for people who are really struggling with this, mm. if it's a lifeline, then, you know, you've just got to applaud it because it can be a really dreadful thing, that type of depression or PTSD or what have you. It's really good to talk to you, Daniel. Thank you very much indeed. Really appreciate it. I think it's fascinating. I, I love this sort of technology. No, it's great, isn't it? Especially if it's available on the NHS. I mean, if it works. We'll have to plug me in now and see if it works. But it, welcome it, definitely. For people who, I mean, it's debilitating, isn't it, depression? Oh, yeah. It's the most serious illness. Oh, it's um, dread dreadful. So, I mean, something like this, it's just easy to pop on. It's and very light, I must yeah. say. And if you just pop it, if you need to pop it on for half an hour a day or something. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. But it's, I think you'd try anything, wouldn't you? And it's certainly... Well, the trouble is it makes like... It makes, because there, there are these pads in it... Let me whip that off. Which... Um, look, look, you've taken off all my makeup. Sorry, the pads, sort of wet pads in there that you have to replace every time. But it makes... They were running down your face, so it made it look like you were crying. Makeup artist is going to have a great time. She's going to go break. mad. But there you yeah. go. But no, it's, it looks easy enough, doesn't it? Nice and light. Yeah. We'll have to see. Could it catch on? Let us know what you think. Look at the state of me. GBviews at gbnews.uk.